Put him though. Trying to see how I can uh, set the phone up here, and I guess that's good enough. Anyway, I'm very tired. Uh, very busy. I have a lot more work to do tonight. I just got home, and I uh, don't quite see how I'm gonna have. Uh, time I'd like to have to, to, to do a um, more well-considered meditation that I stream. Uh, right in my time for my own. Uh, but I am about to have some dinner, which is a salad. And um, this particular salad, sorry about that. The, uh, I was uh, uploading a video to iTunes, uh, uh, YouTube on the iPad, and uh, I just finished the cycle, so then I just started playing the video. So, you know, little random nature sounds there. Uh, mostly wind, as it was from earlier today. Uh, uh, that'll be on the YouTube tag, meditative, contemplative, which is one word. Um, Guessing by morning it'll be up. It takes hours to upload. It's like an hour long, right? probably an hour and eight minutes. Uh, anyway, uh, I thought I'd just eat as a meditation or meditatively eat, which won't make for a great video, but it is a valid way to meditate and actually quite interesting. And uh, I'm just going to try and change the angle of this camera just a tiny bit here, see, that might be a little bit better. Uh, so to meditative lead is to really be present, not not be uh, reaching for the second bite uh, when you're in the middle of the first bite, uh, but also not to be distracted watching TV or reading or whatever it might be. And one could argue even talking, uh, you know, like people like to have conversation over a meal. Uh, but in... Uh, uh, an abbey or monastery or temple that is very frequently in many traditions of eating in silence um, and of course also living in silence and so forth anyway this particular salad um, I often think of when I'm in New Haven which is where I just was to see Dave Chorney and Krista Whitten and perhaps Amy if she was there perhaps Amber if she was there uh, and Joya, if she was there, uh, probably get to see uh, David and uh, his painting Marley. Anyway, I just got back from New Haven, and uh, this salad is um, from a restaurant in New Haven that's my third best friend's uh, favorite, and uh, it's my favorite salad, and it's what they call a Greek salad, although I'm sure that if you are a culinary type, you could make your arguments, especially because I revise mine and don't get the olives and don't get the tomatoes. But anyway, it's quite vinegary, uh, and uh, I really enjoy it, and I'm not a vinegary guy. And uh, so when I have it, it's very easy for me to start to think about Rob uh, and the rest of the friend group, you know, uh, from our times there. And it's very easy to think about the next bite, especially if it has more feta or more pepper. Um, but this particular salad is pretty um, charged with uh, history for me. Uh, this this uh, menu item from this restaurant, this individual salad is uh, brand new and unique. So it's to um, eat the salad, not play with the food. And whatever bite you have, if it's your 18th bite, your 110th bite, your first bite, your last bite, 
It really is if it's the only bite. And the only bite doesn't have to mean last bite. It's the only bite. So you bring your attention to it. In a very direct, complete, and present way. So this particular menu item from this restaurant, this thing that I order, and, and believe me, I start developing plans to be in New Haven for one reason or another, and I think, you know, <laughs> don't eat lunch so that when I get there, I'll be ready for a salad, or don't eat a late breakfast so when I get there, I'll be ready for a lunch and I'll have the salad, or can I do every other errand so that when I stop at the restaurant and get the salad, I can go straight home and eat? Uh, even today, you know, I brought this metal fork with me because it comes with a plastic fork. So that if something came up, I had a metal fork, which is for me, um, what the salad deserves, not a plastic fork. Uh, and so if I get waylaid, uh, I'll pull over or, or whatever and eat the salad before it uh, gets too mushy. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, probably nine hours ago, I put this fork next to my wallet so it would go with me when I left. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, it's very easy for this to invite me out of the moment because this is, has a rich history and a history of planning and a whole lot of emotions that are not present in this moment. Right? The emotions are related to salads of this kind. I'm tuning into the texture of the lettuce and the bite of the vinegar and the creaminess of the feta and the crunch of the cucumber the, uh, the wallop of the pepper And that is one of the many ways to <clears throat> meditate while eating. It's also nice to meditate while drinking or not drinking or fasting. So, uh, I won't do much more for you. I'll keep doing it myself, but uh, um, that'll probably get quite boring, but I think you get the idea. <laughs> so thanks for joining. Sorry I didn't share.